Okay now, so let us continue to what we had last time. So last time we uh, cross the homozygous tall and homozygous short, okay, or the recessive trait. Okay, this time uh, we will determine the parents. Uh, I mean the offspring of a cross if we cross the offsprings of the F1 generation based on our last uh, video. So, in our last video, we have uh, heterozygous tall, okay, and another heterozygous tall, okay, as the offspring there, okay. So, it's the offspring ng, ng F1 generation, okay. So, both of these are heterozygous tall, okay. So, heterozygous tall para siyan. Then, let us uh, determine the offspring, okay. Here, ano yung magiging offspring niya? Yung mga magiging offspring dito, these are for the F2 generation, okay. So, let us now distribute them, okay. Their alleles, so capital T, dito natin ilalagay, okay. So, small t, Yan, it's dito natin ilalagay sa baba. Okay, next. Capital T na to, dito siya. Okay. And then, yung small t is sa tabi niya. Okay, so ganyan yung magiging setup natin. Okay, next is this one. So, we will put them now inside the box. Okay. Capital T and capital T. So, saan ang galing yan? Dito. Okay, dito sa galing. Capital T at ay nasa taas niya. Capital T. Okay, next. Top spring number 2, we have capital T, okay, and small t. Okay. So, dito nang galing po yung small t, ah, sa taas na yan. Yan yung parent. Okay. Next is top spring number 3, we have capital T and small t. Okay. Next is top spring number 4. Top spring number 4 natin is small t, sa side, and small t rin po sa top. Okay, so now let us determine their phenotype. Okay, so isa-isayin natin yung offspring. Okay, we have the winner to determine their phenotype. Remember that the phenotype is the physical representation of a given trait. So yung phenotype nila, isa-isayin natin. So ano yung mga possible phenotypes dito? Okay, so dalawa lang yung alleles natin para sa length of stem. We have tall and short. Okay, so, isa natin sila. Offspring number 1. to yan si offspring number 1. Ano yun siya? Ano siya? Ano yung pinotype niya? Tall or short? Okay, remember, there's a capital letter, so that is tall. Okay? Next, si offspring number 2. Tall or short? So, that is also tall. Okay? Next, offspring number 3. May capital letter ulit. That is also tall. For offspring number 4, mapapansin nyo na parehas small letter, so that is short. Okay? So, ganyan lang kadali mag-determine ng phenotype ng bawat offspring. Next, we have the PR, or the phenotypic ratio. Okay? The ratio of all the phenotypes present in a given cross. Okay? So, the phenotypic ratio, ilang tall? So, that is equal to 3. Ilang short? 1. So, we have a phenotypic ratio... 3 is to 1. So, ilang percent yung ating tall? Ilang percent yun? Yung tall natin? So, if we assume, uh, we really assume, no? We really assume that each box here has uh, 25%, no? So, tatlo yan. So, that means that you have 75% tall. And we have how many percent short? So, the remaining is equal to 25%. Okay? So, yun yung mga phenotype nila dyan. Okay, now, let's move on to their uh, genotype and their genotypic ratio as well as their percentage. No? For the genotype, genotype, we have three possible genotypes present here. We have both our capital T. Okay, so that's a uh, homozygous tall. And then, capital T, small t, heterozygous tall, or what we call as hybrid. And then, we have both small letter t, which is the recessive trait, or homozygous short. So, offspring number 1, ano, ano si offspring number 1? 
Nandito siya sa homozygous tall. Okay, so may isa na tayong homozygous tall. How about option number 2? Ito. So that is heterozygous tall. Okay? And then option number 3 is also heterozygous tall. And then option number 4 is homozygous short or what we call as the recessive trait. Okay? So we have that genotypes. Okay? So how many uh how many homozygous tall? So, we have 1 or how many percent? That is equal to 25%. And then, heterozygous tall or hybrid, we have 2, which represents 50%. Okay? And then, we have the recessive trait or the short, which is the 25%. Okay? So, let us now determine their GR okay? or the genotypic ratio. Okay? So, we have here heterozygous uh, uh, I mean, homozygous tall, which is equal to 1, okay? And then, we have heterozygous tall, which is equal to 2. And then, we have homozygous short, or the recessive trait, we have 1. So, our genotypic ratio is equal to 1 is to 2 is to 1, 